What's up guys? As you can see on the table, just a quick video. It's upgrade time. So this bad boy right here is getting an upgrade. So you can see, I didn't show you my setup yet. I gotta do. I don't really organize at the moment, so. Need to clean everything up and I'll show you my setup, but I just did a backup on the uh, Western Digital 1TB hard drive. But this is very, very exciting. I had the RC, let me just open it quickly for you guys. I had the RC uh, version on uh, Toshiba, I, didn't, uh, I, didn't, I don't have it anymore. But, uh, so right now, what I'm going to do is, uh, on this screen right here, is my 28 inch uh, Hans G, which right now it's plugged into my Mac and my Xbox right there. But what I'm going to do, I just, um, if you saw my video, I ordered a, uh, did an unboxing of um, an HDMI switch so I can have both the Mac, the Alienware, and the 360 both plugged in, all three plugged in in the screen. So let me just quickly uh, open it up for you guys. Alright, so there's the CD. I will put it in the Alienware. Have to get what annoying thing is I have to go and get a wired keyboard because right now I have the wireless uh, Microsoft black backlit keyboard, but it doesn't work. You have to have a plugged-in USB keyboard so it works. All right, here it is. Windows is loading files. Finally, I'm going to get rid of Vista. I mean, it's not. Can't really say it's been horrible, but it hasn't been good. Like I mean, this is a fast computer. It's a quad core, two point four gigahertz processor, five hundred gig of RAM and uh, five hundred gig of RAM, five hundred gig of hard drive and four gig of RAM. And I mean, it's been running by far. It's the fastest PC I've ever used, and. Um, it's been running good on Vista, but you still get the bugs on you get on Vista and all this crap. So finally, the upgrade to Windows 7, and apparently it's it's meant to be a a lot more stable, uh, a lot cleaner than Vista. Yeah, here it is. So yeah, like I said, I'm going to do a uh, a review of my setup when I get that cable because I'm missing an HDMI cable, HDMI to HDMI, to uh, plug in that screen to the uh, HDMI hub. But when I get that done, I'll have both my Alienware, Xbox, and Mac plugged in one screen. And with that remote right there, I'll be able to uh, just change. So that's pretty cool. I'm not going to go through every setup here, but uh, let's see. Oh yeah, the mouse doesn't work, so I have to get it with a keyboard. Or does it? Right, let's see. Oh, it does work. Okay, so English, United States, keyboard, US. Okay, next. Install. Alright, so that's basically, I'll show you, uh, I'll tell you how long it took for my machine to install Windows 7. But, uh, yeah, so I'll be back in a bit. So you get me to that screen. Um, what you do here, either you upgrade, upgrade to a newer version of Windows and keep your files uh, on the program, or install a new copy of Windows. This does not keep your file settings and programs. So that's what I'm going to do. It's always better to do a uh, a clean, especially with Vista. It's better to do just a clean upgrade. Uh, I just backed up. Most of the stuff I want on my hard drive, and now I'm just going to do a clean upgrade. So let's see, partition, not on the hard drive, let me take that off. Uh, so I'm going to pick the Alienware, you can see from the total size here. Um, click next. The partition, you said, might not contain... Does not these uh, name tonight. You'll be able to... Uh, Okay, alright, well, it was just nothing, it was just saying 
had all the files from the other version of Windows. So now it's just going through the installation. I'll tell you how much it's, uh, how long it's going to take, and I'll be back. So so far it's been about 20 minutes, and it's done all the copying Windows files, expanding, installing features and updates, and now it's completing installation. So we're almost done. All right, here it is. Setup is preparing a computer for first use. It's doing all the stuff. So it's been around 25 to 30 minutes. It's actually much quicker than than uh, Vista. Vista took a long time. I guess Vista took a long time for anything. So Windows 7 is supposed to boost the speed, obviously, and the boot up time and shutdown time. So that's pretty cool as well. So I'll be back in a bit. Ah, where? Oh, well, hold on. Again. So, type a username. I just type in LJ. And I'm going to change it to Alienware. Alright, next. Alright, so I'm just going to do all this stuff. You have to type in the password. I have to type in the key as well. So I'll be back in a bit. All right, so here it is. Booting up for the first time. Let's hope this doesn't take too long. I'm just going to cut it and come back when it's done. All right, so here it is, Windows 7 for the first time. So I actually hope it doesn't install the 64-bit, because it does say on there, DVD included 32 and or 64-bit disk inside. So I hope it's installed the 64-bit. Mm, I'll have to check that out. So there it is, guys. So far, I mean, it's a lot cleaner. I mean, I use, I've used the RC version before, but uh, it's so much cleaner than than uh, Vista. I really like the taskbar as well. So it's, I'm going to tell you if uh, after a bit of use, if it's if the speed increased and stuff like that. So so there you go, guys. It's been the installation of uh, Windows Seven on my Alienware, it's about a year old now. So, thanks for watching guys, as always, comment, rate, subscribe. It's been LJ for your Tech, signing out. Peace.